Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for episode 9 of Factorio 0.15. And in last episode, we finally installed a new iron smelting station over here, which now feeds into these four output belts for our main bus. But since then, I've also mirrored that to the left side here for more iron production. And I do have plans to add on that in the future with these blueprints that I've laid down. The one thing we're really missing in this space though is steel production, which we have none of at this point. So this episode, I'm hoping to finally get that implemented. So I've already gotten a line ready from our iron plates here. We're just gonna feed it from the outer line, which should get balanced as it goes up. And we're gonna feed this into just another tile, basically, of this same station, uh, just to the left here of the iron plate production. So I do have a blueprint ready to go. We're just going to plop this down. Um, I do want to leave, I think, four spaces in between. That should be four there. Let me double check. One, two, three, four. Yep. And the reason for that is that I do want to balance out our steel output. I don't know that I want to do um, as many steel factories as we have iron. So for now I'm just planning on half of the steel smelters as we do iron. So we're just going to have a two lane output. So let me just get that output started for now. Make sure it lines up appropriately. There we go. And then underground belt there. And there. And then we have another splitter here. And one on top. And I don't technically know if this will be balanced. I'm just assuming so. But we'll have to find out once we get this up and running. And then, let me see, where are we going to have this come in? Um, for now, this will just be temporary, but we will just have it, um, I think, go underground here, and then we'll have it loop around. I do need coal again for this factory, unfortunately. so. Let me see how I can do that. Um, maybe if I do that and then we'll have it go like that maybe. I'm just kind of winging this. It's not going to be our end game factory. It's just kind of our mid-game setup for now. And then we need a splitter, actually. Ooh, get rid of that. And then we can essentially just fill in our missing pieces. And that shouldn't take too long, I don't think. It's so handy being able to use the blueprints earlier on in the game now, um, even just for this purpose, just to um, give yourself an idea of where everything goes by hand, even in, when there aren't any robots. Okay. Oh, what are we missing? This needs to go and loop around like that. Okay, great. And I think I have enough of everything still from the previous episode when I got a bunch of furnaces and splitters and that sort of thing. up our belt output here. 
This is where our products are going to go. So now we just need our inserters and lights pretty much, our electrical poles, and then this will be done and we'll finally have some steel production. And when we have steel, that means we can have upgraded ammo. And then maybe we can get rid of those spiders up there to the north near our coal line. Okay, let's make a couple more poles. Whoop, a little bit of lag there. And then one in the middle, and then we do have a couple lights. And we're missing a couple more inserters, and it looks like we don't have enough blue ones. Can I make a couple by hand while we're here? I don't know if that's technically quicker than just running down and grabbing it from our stores down there. And we're missing a pole there. Inserter here. Okay, I think that's all of them. This is now up and running. We finally have steel. And it looks like this is balancing perfectly, actually. Yeah, it is equal. So let's again extend our fake wall even further this way. I do like having a walkway so that everything is really accessible. I, I hate having to walk over belts and, you know, weaving in between things. And let's get rid of this rock. Oh, and I'm finally getting attacked. I was wondering when that was going to happen. So let's take a look up there, see how it was able to defend itself with the kind of weaker ammo that I have. Okay, nothing looks damaged. Okay, so that did all right. Um, it won't last forever, obviously, having just that minimal defense up there, which is why we need to get ammo ASAP. Okay, so now I need to decide where I'm going to be putting in our steel line, whether I want it to loop around immediately. Um, I do think that's what I want to do for now, but I'll leave maybe a two gap, just in case I need to put something there. And then of course I can always change this in the future. Great, now that should be producing more. How is our electricity doing? It is still okay, oddly enough. And then of course we'll clean this up too. These lines are also, again, temporary. It's just so that we can get our production kind of up and running. All right, well, slowly but surely it is working. We can get rid of these finally and then just add it to the main bus. Same with these guys here. We'll just have that start trickling down. I'm excited to see how that looks. It's a shame we don't have a pathway there yet. It would be a little bit more convenient. We can watch it coming down like that. That is so cool. And then if we wanted to, we could continue this on 
but I don't see the point in that right this second because we need to rip this up at some point. And I don't want to do that until we have our automation moved. And we can't move our automation until we have some landfill. So I tend to bottleneck myself pretty bad. Um, let's see, is this our nearest stone pile? Yes, it is. Okay, so what does it take to work on landfill? I don't have that researched yet. Okay, so let's research that now. And the earlier we can start just slowly building up our landfill, the better. Uh, my plan for that is to fill in a little bit of the water here. And then we're gonna be putting in a bunch of assemblers in kind of this crescent shaped area right here. It's gonna extend from the top to kind of this side as well in the crescent shape. And I think that'll be pretty cool. It'll be like um, slow production of things, but it will give us you know, a ton of stuff that we need that will be automatically produced. So while we're here, let's restock on stuff. I need a little bit of everything again. Definitely need more of the blue splitters. We'll grab a whole stack. Um, we'll grab all of those, I guess, too. Do I need any red? We'll grab maybe half that stack. Underground belts we'll take. And we'll take a couple stacks of iron. And we're good on copper plates for now. And we're doing pretty good on our research. It's coming along pretty quickly. So we're just kind of barely getting out of the early game with our tech. I know it's been really slow going. This definitely hasn't been a quick journey at all. Um, but I don't like to get too ahead of myself, so I, I do tend to just play slower. While we're waiting though, and just kind of having stuff that we need research, we can do a couple of things that should be pretty easy. Um, I do want that tool belt. Oil will obviously get us kind of into the tech tree that, ooh, but that would be really nice too. Oh, but I don't really need it. Okay, let us just go kind of in order because I can't make up my mind. <laughs> wow, I've made a little maze for myself. And then of course, we'll need to get some copper production up here as well. We're going to do that to the right side of our pathway, which is going to keep going straight up. And then to the right of the copper, we'll do um, some stone, I think. And we'll have to clear these trees at some point. And our steel production is still doing okay. We're definitely not having an issue with our iron keeping up quite yet, but I imagine that will be a problem in the future, so we'll need to expand on this when we get a chance. All right, well, I did want to get some ammo started. So, the red ammo takes regular magazines plus steel plus copper. So honestly, maybe before we do that ammo, we should do our copper plant here. I do have the blueprint for it, so it shouldn't take too long. This one goes to the right. Actually, we'll need the one that goes to the left. And... That's what we should need right there, I think. And then we can put down a couple miners since it's so nearby, which is really nice. 
And then we'll still need coal over here. God, it'll be really nice when we don't have to worry about that anymore and we can just have it be all electric. Um, so I think we'll just keep feeding. Ooh, how did that get there? Feeding off of this line for the coal, maybe. Um, or we can branch it off again, like right here. Do something kind of funky. Just, I don't want it going through our blueprint there. I don't want to have it get messed up. God, this is ugly though. <laughs> uh. I would be really impressed as, if someone is able to make their base look beautiful from like start to end without any of this spaghettiness or ugliness that would be impressive i can't do it it is all still kind of uh, chaos before it gets more organized so a couple miners here and then that way i don't have to worry about bringing in a separate copper line up here yet. Let's balance it by doing that. And then our coal line is up here. Have enough furnaces. Yay. We'll be in pretty good shape once we have you know better production all of all of these essential products, the steel, copper, and iron. And then we can really start kind of evolving in the game. And thankfully it doesn't take too long to put these uh, furnaces and a smelting kind of set up down. goes there. That just kind of evens out the lanes. Oh, why? Oh, whoops. I messed up kind of the input. So the splitter is originally supposed to go on this side, but um, we're just modifying this for now. That shouldn't be a big deal. Ground belts go here. Let's do a couple lights. And of course, electricity. Fantastic. Now that is working. We just need the copper ore coming in. think about that well enough. Okay, but now everything is mining up there and 
all of these are working, I think. These just haven't gotten the copper ore yet. And then we can put... Actually, you know, I should have... Uh, let me blueprint that. That way I don't have to make it from scratch again. So we'll do like... Much better. Oops. Then a couple splitters at the top and the middle and the bottom. Yellow output from the sides and then red belts in the middle. And then eventually when we have our copper smelters on the right side as well, it will be fully balanced. Let's extend our pretend wall again over here. And then we'll add this to our main bus. Perfect. It is going everywhere we need it to go, apart from this lane, but that is just because we don't have any output into that lane yet. So I'm going to get rid of these guys now. Watch that trickle down. Way cool. I love watching it come down like that. And there it ends, so I think just as that ends, we're going to end this episode as well. Uh, next episode, we should definitely be set up for ammo. We will have the copper and the iron and steel and shouldn't have a problem with making that so we can finally get rid of these guys. So I hope you'll join me for that episode, but thank you for joining me for this one. Hope to see you on the next one.